He's in a diner. Really bad. Oh, yeah. No, no, no. Go back to where he quits. He quits. So after this failing performance, you see the two actors start to argue a little. Not much. Fun. And after this, we cut to a scene where he's in a diner. He's sitting down, depressed. A short, stocky bodyguard for a corrupt politician who will remain nameless for now. Walks in and offers him again. We, it's, we don't hear the sound. We hear coffee machine sounds. We hear oven noise. We hear anything from the kitchen. No, we see his shadow first, remember? We see his shadow first. Because he, since he's really short, he's going to walk up and it's going to look like he's the tall of the diner. from the back lighting. The outside of the diner, we see him walking in the sidewalk, right? It's like a really... The shadow it's against like the, the wall. It's like the glass front of the diner. He's sitting up at the front, contemplating life. We see his shadow walk past... Then a short, sucky man occurs, if you will. Sits down. We don't hear them talk. But he's offering a gig, hold him in an envelope full of cash. And the director, who's happy, accepts the deal. We then move on to a scene like where this politician is announcing the campaign. It has to be some, I don't know, in front of like a plaza or something. That's to be like barely anybody there, and it has to be really empty. It has to be. It can't be a very popular politician. No, no, it's there has not. To be it's, signs and banners. It's everywhere. a totally unheard of politician. Huh? It's a totally un. No, they've run before. That's it. Wait, have we run mentioned before. it's the they've mayor of Detroit. The it's city is tired of them. Mayor of Detroit, 1950. Mayor of Detroit, 1952. That's it. 1950. Running for re-election. 53. 53. 53. They're running for re-election. They're very unpopular at the moment. So they announce the campaign. Barely anybody is there. It is full of banners, balloons, everything you'd imagine. But it's empty. A crazy homeless person with a cart. A homeless man with a cart runs along, cheers him on, and walks away. Yeah, yeah. They just go like, Yippee! And we keep on zooming into the politician's face. And you can see his face of almost sadness and a brink to cry. Then we move on. We see him uh, decide to leave. We see him walk down the stairs off his podium, get into a car, and drive away. The short, stocky bodyguard follows in another car. We should then have Wait, they need to be like somehow related to this bodyguard because they can't afford just a random one. They huh? have to, they have to be like they're they're like brothers. Like, no, 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 no. This is a corrupt politician. He has the money. He's he just does. unpopular. Let's say he's stolen a lot in bribery, construction deals, a lot. He's he's run before in the last election. He's been getting money out of Detroit, taking money out of the budget, everything. Been, uh, Wait, what was his job before this? Philanthropist? He's a long. He's a. Uh, he used to be a very rich fact, car factory owner. That's right. Has to be related to the Fords in some odd way. Uh, that's that's weird. You no, know, we have to make up the Ford. We have to make a uh, parallel family for them. After that, I don't know. We see a. Uh, Old British man in typical, like, I don't know, British Pathé uh, documentary style talking about this politician, showing images of the factory, all that. Oh, no, they need to have a really weird supporter. Huh? Like a very oddly, like, specific, even, like, unrelated supporter. Support? I say. Environmentalist business executives. <clears throat> no, because they're gonna be. No, that's just specific. <coughs> the support. <coughs> no, they need like a really weird sponsor. Even though he has the money. He has the money, money, but he has a sponsor. It's to make him seem more legit. He has a diner. No. As the mafia. No, no, it's like a chain. It's like a chain of something. Like a mattress thing. A mattress store for work. 
he, he, but I was no, no, we show a scene where he's on their ads. Like, he, he's the face of their ads. But let me tell you, I was no, thinking, but this is later. This is 1950s Detroit. What if it's not, like, Mafia? But the ma- Mafia Radio, really, radio ad for the match. Ready? But it's, ready? It's the Mafia that's really supporting him. And it says, Mafia approved. And we name a really famous guy, a famous mafioso. You aren't going to say it. Yeah, yeah. Nobody would vote for This him. guy isn't getting... Dude, this guy is really unpopular right now. Nobody is going to vote for him until the very end. When he is just re-elected. But no, Think about how many unpopular politicians get re-elected every time. Wait, what style is this? Is it... Mockumentary. No, is it like... Is it satire? Satirical so, documentary. No, is it is it like a comedy? It's a well, that's what a satire is. You're making fun of something. Well, yeah, but like, are they gonna be making jokes? Or, it should be very uh, surreal. No, it should be really awkward. It, it should, should be, be awkward. awkward. It should like the show the um, surrealism of campaigning, of, like, not, of fundraising, all that. Like the most awkward humor ever. Like there's yeah. there's a lot. It's like like the office, like yeah. the office, you know, where there's just like silence. Pause it. I want to think more later. We need to brainstorm. Beep.